This is so much better. So much better than last time. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome to part three of my Let's Learn Ship Designer series. Today's video is all about fixing up the controls for my ship. The controls I had set up in part two were quite messy and uh, they didn't really work well with keyboards. So I decided to remake it entirely and to dedicate part three of the series to that one aspect of ship design. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to set up controls for your own ship. You'll also know how to set up a button to turn your generators on and off. And you'll be able to set up little progress bars to display infos on batteries, fuel, generator output, and propellant. Similarly to how it's done in the laborer. So I hope you guys find this video useful. That being said, let's get started. This video is going to correct a lot of the mistakes I did in the past video or the last video. So I'm actually just going to start by deleting everything here because these are just, they're not going to get the job done. So yeah, um, all, basically this here, this control table is already powered up. So anything I put on it, I just need to bolt it down and it's already powered up. I don't need to run cables on this one. Uh, this one here, I could just add, hang on. Oh, okay, so that's, that's the thing I need. I wonder if I could just put that underneath it. I wonder if that would work. If I was to do like this right here, it would probably work, right? I mean, there's no reason for it not to. So now everything, every device I put on this, on these tables should have power it should work I guess not that's not working all right we're gonna try and place these things on top of it uh, of the table instead of underneath it that might be the problem
should both be powered up. <clears throat> and now that should work, so... You, uh, I think it's FCU forward. FCU forward, FCU backward. FCU forward, CU backward. Well, <laughs> I guess those cable plugs are not working. Now I'm wondering, is it really the cable plug that's the problem? What if I connect them directly? <coughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I, I know what could be the problem here, though. I just saw that cable plug fly off. So that might be the problem right here. Hopefully that's all that was. Let's try that again. Yeah. Yeah, so it works. It just needed to be bolted. That's all it needed. And I'm able to control it using shift and control. It's the same, same as in the laborer. Okay. We found our problem, so now I can really remove those cables. So I still have rotational pitch, yaw, and roll to do. Now these are going to be center levers. I guess I could put... Yeah, I could I could put them here. Fine. That's how you'll be. That's how it's, it's, it's going to be then. Alright. Uh, so... FCU rotation rotational pitch I'm just gonna rename this for rotation uh, FCU pitch FCU yaw and FCU roll FCU pitch, FCU yaw, FCU roll alright so you gonna be pitch pitch FCU yaw yeah. FCU roll. And now I reconnect that cable. Alright. So now this is connected, it's bolted, everything is gonna work. Uh, except my levers are not bolted. Not sure what that was. That looks like pitch. Was that pitch? Yeah. That's yaw. Yep. That's roll. So we're going to mess around with the uh, min-max outputs for sure. Alright, let's just not be 100, let's, let's make it 20. We'll, we'll try 20 everywhere. Yeah, it would 
be easier to control this way. Alright. Now, if I open up the V menu... Let's try this. Pitch up. Roll. Let's go with E and Q. FCU y'all. Let's go with D and A. Okay. Yeah, I got it right. It's not quite fast enough, though. Okay, uh, I need to change that one. So, uh, that's pitch. I'm gonna reverse that. So this will be S, this will be W. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's try and control this now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, make the roll stronger. I like the yaw. The yaw feels good. This is so much better. So much better than last time. Oh my god. I got way less levers and I can control my ship however I want now. <laughs> I love it. Obviously, I wouldn't be flying like this if I couldn't pass through the station, but yeah. Yeah, these controls are pretty good. The, the roll is just, it's not strong enough. That's it. So we're going we're gonna to stop here. All right. Uh, and now, uh, that's pitch, that's probably, uh, that's probably the roll right here. Yeah, so, we're gonna change that to 50. Oh yeah, that's much better much better so we're gonna make that change permanent here everything else felt really good so the controls are pretty much done now uh, so I have this here um, I'm going to add more, obviously. Okay. Uh, let's let's do propellant tanks. Gas network stored. I'm just going to call it gas stored. We're going to do the same thing for the other one. That might not be what I'm looking for. So I called it gas stored, right? What about this now? Gas container stored. I don't get it. I don't get what the difference is. Let's 
spell it gas con str. So that's gas container storage. Gas con str. Let's see what that does. Gas con str. All right, let's try this. Huh. This is actually... It's going down when I do this. I don't know what's the difference between this value and this value though. Oh, this might be, this one might be like an individual tank, but. Hmm. This might be like the amount of propellant that's available in the network. I can't tell. Well, I'm not going to wait until it's empty. <laughs> uh, so I'm probably not going to keep that one. I'm going to keep just that one here. So uh, what else could be useful in terms of information? The amount of fuel? Probably. Stored raw fuel. So stored raw fuel. And it's going down because the generator is working, so. Hopefully it wouldn't be going down if I could turn it off. So let's let's make this a little bit better. Let's delete all of this. Okay. Now let's rename our batteries. So it's going to be the stored battery power that we're interested in. So that's battery one, battery two, battery three, battery four, battery one that works there we go um, now I wanted this this one I wanted it to be fuel so let's go with fuel like this and let's call the fuel rod fuel these to be propellant tanks so propellant one propellant two A 
Let's try that. No, I'm gonna need one for the generator as well. Forgot about that one. So both propellant tanks are going down at pretty much the same rate. All batteries are going down at the same rate as well. Actually, no. No, no they're going back up. Because now the, uh, the generator is charged up enough to power up all batteries, prevent them from going down. Try and figure out buttons. Button style. So there's more than one style. Let's try one. I want to know what that does. Ah, good. That's that's what I was struggling with last time. Okay, good to know. I want you to control our generator unit rate. Let's try that. All right, I forgot to bolt it in. Okay, so now that it's on, I can see that this is going up. It's actually not going up. <laughs> okay, so generator unit rate limit is set to 1. Okay, so button on state value set to 1. Let's set that to 25 just out of curiosity. Uh, yeah, now it's going up. Let's see if it stops at 100 or 25. So it stopped at 25. Oh, okay, and this changed to 25 automatically, okay. So let's put it at 54, I think, is where I saw the battery start going up again. Um, let's test it. So batteries are going down. Let's see where they start going up again. Yep, they're going up again. So 45, 46 is about the sweet spot there. I'm going pretty friggin' fast. I'm reaching these asteroids like really fast. There's some right there. Man, my ship look like looks like it's about to fall apart. Is it that my ship is just so freaking fast that it's, it's having trouble holding together? <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to call this a success and I'm going to call this a video just because, I mean, there's still a lot more to do on this ship. 
but I wanted to fix the controls and I've definitely managed that in this video so yeah I'm happy I've definitely achieved my goal for this video so hopefully you guys learned something here I know I did so leave me some comments let me know what you think you guys take care I'll see you guys next time bye bye